ground they lay covered in the what could have been, the what should have never happened, and the changes yet to be seen. Something is innocent and childlike as candy, now dripped in the realization that as much things change, they sadly stay the same. A face of an almost matured young adult like yours, now the representation of history's mixed conceptions, a truth that never goes away. Some people say that dying a martyr is the most honorable death, but martyrs, they aren't supposed to look like you. Now yours is the face of the plight of the black man, but yours should be the face of college brochures, prom pictures, and senior portraits. Your face will now be posted in comparison to the disfigured and bloated bodies of Emmett Till. Images of your mother placed next to the grief-stricken photos of Coretta Scott King, for this is our new civil rights movement. This is our four little girls movement. Our Claudette Coven movement. Our Freedom Riders climbing out of burning buses movement. How we ask over and over again, does a man child be mowed down while exploring the innocence of never ending puppy love on phone calls and quenching the thirst of Southern delicacies into justice? We can't make sense of the story or the lack of validity that it contains, but to be honest, we can't make sense of the other nameless Trayvons. Gunned down and deemed unworthy because the hands that pulled the trigger were brown. This is our staying bed with Fran Hampton's blood moment. Our Huey Newton marching down the street with fellow Panthers, gun cocked and disgraced proudly moment. Your death will not be in vain, young man. Because it opened the eyes of the nation to the visible targets on the backs of black boys as soon as they are old enough to be considered suspicious. 17 year old men should be living the rest of their lives, not sparking movements with their death. It must have been a haunting sight that night. The color of rainbow colored candies became soaked in the blood of a child whose future was as bright as the colors contained in the bag. A hoodie left soaked in the residue of racism hatred and fear. The world should never be able to open another bag of Skittles again without thinking of you. Too bad you never got to witness the beauty of tasting your own success in its own rainbow. Thank you.